that's okay. Um, you can always craft along with the video uh, after this. So, all right. Um, again, I'm Jen and this is Zoe and we're with Catherine and her daughter Bellamy and we're going to be crafting with you today. So thank you so much for joining. Yes, thanks everyone. So before we go into the supplies, I do want to show you what we're doing today. We are going to make this fun journal. So we'll go through how to make the cover, how to make the insides, how to join the binding and um, the fun tassel. Here's your journal. Um, I'll show you my supplies and then we'll take a look at Jen's and then um, we'll also make sure that everyone says hello to the team helping us behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Yep, so Bellamy's going to show you first our mixed media paper. So that's what we put um, behind the backing and on the inside. Then we're using some Creatology construction paper for the cover. Another option if you um, want to use something a little bit more sturdy, I also have our Recollections cardstock here. So just a little thicker than construction paper. And then you'll just gather all of your favorite things to decorate. So we have some um, foam letters, stickers, gold stickers, more importantly. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Catherine, we've had this question come up um, a few times around what can they substitute for mixed media paper or construction paper? Definitely any kind of paper works. So you can use um, copy paper, you can use notebook paper, because we're just going to be coloring the outside. The whole purpose of putting two pieces together is to give you a sturdy cover that you can bind together with yarn, another supply. So the whole purpose is just for a sturdy cover. So Jen, what are you using over there? Well, I don't know if you can see my screen, but Zoe has been uh, Vanna Whiting the supplies for you in the screen. As we go. Would you mind showing Catherine what we're using today? Can you show her our googly eyes? Yeah, we got colored googly eyes. You can find these in the kids aisle. And then what else are you using? What is that? Can you tell her what that is? The, most important. the best, most important craft item ever. Glitter. Bellamy guessed it. <laughs> this is also the, the Creatology glitter. Awesome. And we've got some sparkly Elmer's glitter glue. Pink glitter glue. Pink glitter glue. Um, so I am also using copy. So Zoe is doing hers all out of cardstock. We're going to do rainbow for ours. So we did not choose a white center. Uh, she's having a rainbow day today. So rainbow tattoo means rainbow journal. Love it. I'm using boring old white copy paper for mine because that's my roll. And I'll be decorating it with some cool uh, artist loft markers I got. So, hey guys, um, just a few questions around substitutions. Uh, what can we use instead of yarn and can we use foam paper um, for the cover? Absolutely, yeah. You can use, um, you can use string, you can use tape, um, you can use glue. The glue is going to take a little while. So if you decide that you want to do a glue binding, uh, think about the way traditional books are made. You can put your first two papers together and make those sturdy and let them glue. I'm going to glue them together just using like a stick glue um, because if it gets too wet, it's going to crumple your paper. So always use your stick glue when you can if you're doing paper. And then once that dries, you can put, um, once you've folded your piece of paper in half, it's going to make a seam down the middle. And you're going to put the glue right in the middle of that seam. And you can put your other papers on that. So that would be as a last resort. Or you can staple it. That's another thing I didn't even think about. You can use the stapler yeah. right down the middle. A stapler for sure would also bind it. And in past classes, I've also been without a hole punch, um, which I did find one today. But you nice. can use scissors to make a slit. Um, if you are trying to use binding, but you don't have a hole punch. I saw the question on the foam cover. Um, you can absolutely use that as long as you have a way to adhere your paper to your foam. So if your foam cover fits a hole punch or you can make a slit to bind them, I think that that's a good sturdy cover too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started if you want to show the top down. Thank you, Karina, for bringing us the questions. Okay. So um, today we're going to start with making our cover. Um, what I'm going to do is get 
clean up my workspace a little bit here. We got excited with all our supplies. I've been going through all right, so we're gonna take our piece of paper for the cover. So basically you wanna decide what color you want to be on the outside and you're gonna start there. Um, this is where you're adding your first layer of backing behind your cover. Again, this is to make it sturdy so that it can hold the string and hold the tassel. So you're just going to take a glue stick um, and adhere the two pieces of paper together. Don't be afraid to use two pieces of construction paper, two pieces of copy paper, whatever you're using today. You just want two and all we're going to do is glue them together so that there's as little edges missing as possible. You want them to be as straight as you can and that is going to become your cover. So I'm gonna do that right here on the green and white piece of paper. I'm just gonna glue them down and Bellamy's gonna do hers with pink. I just like fold it and then do this. Yep. So basically I'm using a Elmer's washable glue stick and my only trick for this, it's pretty straightforward, but just make sure that you get a good amount of coverage in your corners and your edges because what you don't want is it sticking up or peeling back on the edges. So if anyone's just joining us, all we're doing is gluing two pieces of paper together to make the cover of our journal. What color are you doing for your um, cover over there, Jen? So my cover is going to be orange and the inside is gonna be white. So it kinda, kinda resembles a pumpkin. I'm not really sure what inspired me, but I like the, the color of the orange. And Zoe, of course, is doing her rainbow here. Although I found a, uh, I found a logistical problem. Um, I, uh, I picked paper that's way too thick for my hole punch, so I'm having to do this systematically. <laughs> So I think I saw some people in the chat asking about how many pages. Um, this is completely up to you. I think there's probably three or four pages in the ones that we're doing. Um, but I've got one here. Uh, Zoe's going to do one that has six pages. Um, you can put as many pages in here as you want. Just remember, if you're using a hole punch, you're going to have to go maybe a few times um, through, you know, do them in a few uh, batches to make sure that you can punch through. Yes, definitely. I think we're using like three or four pages over here. Um, I think also think about your end use. So I saw some people who wanted to use these for a photo book. Um, maybe you're going on a road trip and you want to do one page per day or one page per week for the month of June. Um, so I think just think about kind of how you want to use it and let that guide you as to how many pages. The other great thing about this is you could always, um, if you decide that you want to add pages later, or remove, you could always snip your binding if you do make it of yarn and then add or remove pages at a later date. So I think that that's a, a super fun way to make sure that you have the right number of pages that you need for later. I really like the idea of doing this for a trip, Catherine. Um, a lot of people take vacations in the summer or maybe they go see a relative or you know go stay with their grandparents. So um, that would be a really cool way to keep track of all the fun stuff you've done this summer. Yeah, another thing I think you could do too is uh, maybe you can't go see someone you normally see this year. So you could also make a book about what you're doing and send it to them so they kind of get a scrapbook of your summer. I love that. Zoe, what are you going to put in your book? Butterflies. It's a good thing to put in your book. <laughs> We're putting butterflies too. It must be a butterfly oh. today. Mine says pink butterflies. Oh, I love those, Bellamy. So for everyone, to pick oh, it out yesterday at a store. So for everyone who's um, just getting started, all we did was glue two pieces of paper back to back for our cover, and then our next step is to decorate our cover. So go ahead and pull out your markers. Pull out. You're going to decorate your yeah. Pull out your markers, pull out your stickers. Before you start, you will want to make your phone okay. so that way you know how much space you need to decorate. Yeah. 
But other than that, it is time for some free crafting fun. We'll do that in a minute. Yep, so tell us in the chat uh, what you're gonna do with your journal or maybe what you're doing to decorate your journal. Okay, we've got a few more requests to um, slowly repeat what, um, what we've started on. Please. Sure, absolutely. Um, so, you know, all we're doing is using whole pieces of paper here. So there's no need to worry about cutting anything today. Uh, Catherine showing you there, like it's just your colored piece of paper on top of your mixed media paper, or if you have copy paper, or she had a great idea to use lined paper from a notebook. That's actually great if you want lines to write with. Um, so you're just picking your piece of paper. If you don't have any construction paper, you can actually just use all plain paper. Um, mine in the inside is all gonna be white. Uh, Zoe's here, she picked a different color for every page inside. So it's, it's really up to you. You can decorate the outside how you want. So once you've gotten your paper that you wanna use, you're just folding those pieces in half to make sure that they're all lined up. And then uh, Catherine can show you, they, you're gluing the two together. Yep. Ooh, you have nice purple glue too. So my tip for the glue is to make sure you get your edges and your corners covered pretty well so that your pages don't fold up. So I normally do that first, then make some squiggles in the middle. And then all I'm trying to do is line up the corners as close as I can, because I don't want any overlap if possible. Sometimes I have to lay it down a couple times to get it right. But this is how you'll make your cover. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so once you've made your cover, you're gonna let that glue sit for a minute. Go ahead and fold it in half. That way you know where to do your decorations. And we will start decorating. Get out your markers, crayons, colored pencils, stickers, all of your favorite things to decorate with. And feel free to start decorating the cover of your journal. And you can see this is the one that we did ahead of class. So I called mine Summer Fun. It has the pages on the inside. So again, right now we're just decorating the cover. Okay, there you go. Oh, cool idea. Um, someone used uh, dot markers to make flowers. We have a few people saying they're also using glitter and stickers. Super colorful. Yeah, we got lots of glitter and stickers going on over here. I'm going to start with markers. And thing you can is starting with markers and stickers. That's smart. Another thing you could use is if you don't have yarn, I know some people were asking about how to make the binding if you don't have yarn, you can use a pipe cleaner to run through there too. Definitely. And we can help you think of other things. So um, if you are not having any of the supplies that we're recommending, just send us a note and we'll, we'll keep trying to think of alternatives for you for sure. But this project, um, pretty straightforward, making a journal. And then like Jen said in the beginning, you can always go back and watch it later if you need to. And the other thing that I like about this journal is that depending on how you bind it, you can always go back and add or take away paper later. So I think that that's another real easy thing so that there's no pressure today if you don't have enough sheets um, or you want to, like I said, add or take away as you determine what your summer writing or summer drawing pro project will be. Um, hey, so I, I'm seeing a few more asks about um, if they don't have yarn. So if you guys want to show my tabletop here, I'm going to show you how to do this with a pipe cleaner. So I just took um, a black pipe cleaner here and I've, I've punched my holes as you can see in my journal. And so here's the outside. I'm going to put the pipe cleaner through the holes on the outside of the journal so that they come around through to the inside. So like this, here, let me, I'm just gonna move that for a second. All right, so then you're, you've got your pipe cleaner sticking out through the holes. This is the inside. 
and then you can just lay them inside like this. And uh, if you have tape, which I do, I'm gonna go ahead and just take clear tape and run on the inside here like this. And voila, you have your binding and you didn't need any yarn for this one. All right, Catherine. Love that tip. Thank we're you. still decorating. <laughs> Do what? So we're still decorating. We've got. Oh, all sorry. Things. I have. Well, I haven't even started decorating, so I'm behind. No, I love showing that tip though for binding because there is going to be several ways um, to bind here in a few minutes. So as people are thinking through what their supplies are or what they want to gather, um, I definitely love showing the pipe cleaner version. We'll be doing the yarn version over here, and then today we'll also be teaching you how to make the yarn tassel, um, and then we also have like Jen does some extra pipe cleaners, um, and we can go through that one more time. Huh. All right. So, like I said in the beginning, we're just gluing two pieces of paper together to make an um, outside and then decorating the cover of our journal. Once you feel like you're in a good place, you'll start figuring out how many pieces of paper you want for the inside. I'm just going to do three today. Um, just I'm doing three pieces of paper and I'll show you what paper I'm using as well. So I am using our Creatology marker pad. It's a little thicker than um, construct or a little thicker than copy paper, but not too thick. It's not really a cardstock. It just has a nice quality so that if you did want to do marker colorings in your journal, it won't bleed through super easily, which is what made me select it. So once you get your inside pages, you'll want to just line them up and fold them in half. So I'm going to do this a couple times because I'm also crafting with my daughter. She's making a book right here next to me. As you can see, there's some uh, pink butterflies going on here. That's Bellamy's book. So these will be her inside pages. And then these will be mine. We've got feathers going on over here. This is gonna be the most majestical journal I think I've ever seen. Unicorn, glitter, jewelry. Um, there's been a question around uh, if the paper needs to be white. I think uh, we've said any paper you want, any color you'd like, you make it your own, you get creative with whatever you have at home. Um, and <laughs> But yeah, you can use anything you want for the inside. Um, graph paper, notebook paper, copy paper, any kind of different way. I see some people asking to see the pipe cleaner method again. Um, I don't have my holes punched yet. I don't know, Jen, do you want to do the pipe cleaner method again? Or do you want me to punch holes and keep going? We'll see real quick. where's the last one? Jen, you're on mute. Just kidding. You missed all my good jokes. <laughs> it's all good. Do you want to show I was, us? I was saying I'm going to do this in reverse and make that like rewind noise. But you, you missed it. So yeah. I'm not doing it again. Yeah. All right. So if you have a pipe cleaner, I'm just going to take it out here. So you have the top of your journal, the outside your cover, and you've got your holes punched. You're just going to take your pipe cleaner and go down in through the hole on both sides so that your pipe cleaner is running along the outside of your journal. And then you're gonna flip it over and there's gonna be, don't mind my tears because I just tore the tape out here. So then you're gonna put your, bend your pipe cleaners in like this and it'll stay or uh, I taped it, hence the tears. So that's how you, how you use a pipe cleaner. See how it runs down the outside and then it's on the inside and it stays just fine if you're using that method. It's actually a little faster than the yarn was. Totally faster, good point. 
So uh, there's also a question to repeat the yarn method that you did. I know you said it was a little slower. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start on the yarn yeah. for sure. Are you going to do the yarn? Yeah, I'm going to start on the yarn and maybe we'll do it twice, Jen, because I know it takes a few more steps. So um, once you're ready, you want to take your papers for the inside, make sure you fold them in half. Um, that way you have a nice seam. So what you're seeing here is my cover with my inside loose pages. So I'm just making sure that they all line up. That's all that I'm doing right now. So once they line up, I'm going to take my hole punch. And what I do is I just go all the way in so that they're equidistant on the top and the bottom. So just go all the way in and I try to stay on the line and punch one hole at the top. And then I'm going to punch one hole at the bottom. And again, try to stay on the line. There we go. So I have loose paper inside my book with my holes punched at the top and at the bottom. And we're going to do this more than once. So if you are, um, if you're a step behind or if you're just watching and then you want to do it, we're going to do this two times. So you can do it with me or um, Jen will do it as well and we'll help you guys get it right, okay? So the first thing that I did with my yarn was I take a long piece, like you want it to be basically twice as long as your book, and I threaded it so that the ends were on the outside. So we're gonna thread it so that the ends are poking out and you have a solid string on the inside. And then what I'm doing is I'm leaving mine loose and I'm going to make my tassel and then use this to tie my tassel on to the binding here in a second. So I make it loose and just do one loose kind of fold over knot. And then in a second, when I make my tassel, I'll tighten it here on this knot. So all you're doing right now is taking one long piece of yarn and threading it to where the ends come out of the book and then like I said I just make one loose quick knot so I don't have to do that later with the tassel in my hand and let it sit there. So to make the tassel you're going to take a lot of yarn this time. We'll do that in a minute. Let me do the tassel okay. We'll do that in just a second. Um, you're going to take your yarn and make about 10 loops around the palm of your hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then what I do is slide it off and go ahead and make my cut. Now I take the top loop and thread my yarn through and then tighten my knot. So what this does is it secures your tassel and ties it to your book all at once. So you're just tying a knot at the top of your tassel loop and securing it to your book. I double knot it just to make sure it's nice and secure. So for anyone who missed that, you take your yarn, loop it around your hand about 10 times. All right, 10 times looping it. And then what you'll do is you'll slide it off and you'll use the long strings on your book to attach your tassel. So all you're doing is just getting all of the loop here together like this and you're taking your yarn through the loop and tying a knot. So that's how I secured it right here. Take the yarn through the loop and tie your knot. And we'll do this again from the beginning. So if you're a step behind, please do not worry. So then from here, the next thing that you want to do, if you want a tassel that has this kind of roping at the top, That'll be your next step. So you're just going to take another kind of long piece of um, yarn. This one's about six to eight inches long. 
and you are going to attach it at the top of your tassel. And then you just wrap it around. All I'm doing is wrapping. It's really simple. Just wrap it and then tie a knot, cut off the excess, and then you have your tassel. So again, we will do this one more time. It definitely takes um, a little bit of practice, but once you get it, you can be a tassel master, kind of like Jen. I feel like she always shows us so well how to do the tassels. And so, um, like I said, we'll do this one more time for everyone from the beginning. So if you are sitting there with a handful of yarn <laughs> and want to see it one more time, don't worry, we're gonna do that for you now. And these are just basic knots, um, nothing special. All I do every time I use yarn is try to knot it twice just to make it stay. But I am not doing any special um, scout knots or anything like that. It is not my forte. I like, I like your tassel method there. I think I did mine a little differently, but I, I like how you, you looped yours together. I was trying to figure out the best way to attach it up front. Um, so that kind of became my go-to because I think that it, it holds nicely on the book um, whenever you attach it with the original strands, but I know that there's more than one way to attach the tassel. So Jen, do we want to go to your top down and you can show us another method? Yeah, no, I was just about to put Zoe's on. <clears throat> awesome. So I've done my, my round already and I've, I've pulled it together, but I haven't cut it yet. So um, I did the same thing where I took these and I tied it in the middle. So again, we're doing 10 around and I'll do another one. I just, I was like mid, um, mid cycle here. So, and then the trick here on your tassel and getting it even is to pull it away from the knot. So that it's, you've got the knot on one side and your, your loop pulled out tight on the other. And then you're just cutting at the opposite end here, like this. And then um, I, I, that's where I was like, I like your, your method for tying around the side. I did uh, with a different piece, but one more thing before you like finish up, you can square off the end of your tassel because some of the pieces will be a little uneven. You can square it up with your scissors so it's nice and even. And then you can put the string around the middle here. Let me get my extra string. You can go around the middle to give the tassel a top. And I go around a couple of times too. Making you a tassel. What's a tassel? A tassel is this cool little yarn thing that hangs off the side. Tickles your nose. Ooh, tickles my nose. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can cut the string off right at the top. I used a different, slightly different color. So you can see the middle here is the pink. So I'm gonna do this one more time for my other book. So taking a section of yarn and I'm gonna go all the way back to where you make the binding because I know there's a, a few people that have joined late. So once you've glued your two pieces of paper together uh, and then you've inserted your extra pages so you get as many pages as you want and you've made your holes and you can do this with a hole punch or you can do this with um, scissors um, or an awl, uh, whatever, you know, if you need help from your parents, make sure that you're, you're asking for help on this one because this, this can be a little complicated, but you just, you make your holes here and then you're feeding the yarn through and I always go through the center of the book so that your string ties on the outside. Like this. And then this is where I think maybe ours are different. I'm not sure. I, I'm tying mine off before I put the tassel on. and just make sure that your knot is at the top of your book so you can see Jen's summer of fun and I've got my knot here at the top corner. All right, so for your tassel,
pull away some yarn and you're gonna loop it 10 times around your hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then cut your tail, not your tail, but yarn's tail. And then before you do anything to cut it, that's when you're gonna tie it to your book. So going over here to the strings you have left. Tie it to the top like this. And do it a couple of times so it doesn't come undone. And then you're going to pull your loops together. So see your knot is right here on the side and your loops are pulled over to this side and you're going to cut right here at the opposite end from the knot. Be careful when you're cutting. Use your, your kid scissors or ask your parents to do it. So you're gonna just cut the tassel off like that. And if you need to square it up, you can just trim like this. It gives you a nice clean edge to the tassel. Actually, I missed a couple. Let's do that again. This might be my favorite part is like making it, it's like giving it a haircut. Best part. I know. And I'm gonna take so then you take another piece of yarn here and you're gonna go around the end of the top, just like half an inch down from the top. Like this, and I go around three times and then just pull it tight like this and tie it off in a knot. And then I'm using a different color, so I cut my strands short um, instead of letting them lay down, and then there you go. So now you have your tassel on your book. I love it. I also like Zoe's. I see she's already drawing in there. She's got oh, some man. stickers. Yeah. We have Tweety Bird inside. Awesome, awesome. So I'm attaching Bellamy's tassel right now. We did it right along with you, Jen. So thank you for the instructions. And then this is Bellamy's book. Oh my goodness. Zoe, look at Bellamy's book. Look how shiny that is. And it says family fun. Family fun is the put, name of her book. I'm gonna put some pictures of me and my family in that. That's awesome. I love that. So that's ours. Mine's looking a little plain. I think I need to get caught up. <laughs> yeah, mine is definitely more boring as well. <laughs> um, I did draw a right. earlier though on my summer fun book. I, oh, I, I see. You see at the bottom. I tried to get a little creative earlier, but we would love to see um, if anyone wants to hold theirs up. And then we are going to talk about some different writing ideas. So definitely, if you want to turn your camera on, oh um, yeah, love your book. We'd love to see your creations. There's some really awesome ones out there. My summer journal, Alex's journal. Oh, this is great. Oh man, there's one with jewels on there. This is. I bet that's a heavy journal. That's a lot of jewels. Oh, I see those jewels. That's awesome. I think I saw one that had a different color on the front and the back. Very nice. Oh, there's no such thing as too much glitter. There's right. some more requests to um, show the tassel part again, if you could. Yeah. We can definitely do that. We're getting carried away with looking at everyone's fun book. <laughs> I know. Thanks for showing us. I love Bellamy's. Super Great. colorful. I took my tassel. Right. So we're going to do the tassel one more time, right? Yeah, let's do it. You want to do it, Jen? Oh, I don't mind. Yeah, I can do it. It doesn't matter. I've, I've unwound my yarn. So okay, looks like we're top down. So hold your yarn on your hand and, and you can, I think, did you do three, Catherine, or did you do your whole hand? I've been doing my whole hand. I I've been doing my whole hand. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. As to how long. Yeah, I like the longer tassel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So put, you're going to just put the yarn over your hand and you're going to go around 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're just gonna trim down here at the bottom 
like that. And then to tie it onto your book, so I've already tied mine onto my book, so I'm gonna, we're gonna pretend here for a second. I'm gonna cut off another piece. And we're gonna pretend that this is my string from my journal in. And you know what? If you guys wanna put a whole bunch of tassels on your, on your journal, you could have like a super tassel journal. All right, so once you have your two pieces of string here, so you can see I've got two pieces, two ends, you're gonna go through the middle of your yarn. Don't let it unravel. And you're gonna tie it down into a knot like this and then one more time to make sure it's nice and secure and then you always go and pull pull the yarn loops opposite from the knot so i've got the knot here in in this hand and then i pull the yarn loops out so that it's opposite and then i'm just going to cut on the opposite side from the knot so again before i cut you can see here's over here by the book and, and I've got my scissors pulling these loops out to the side. And you're just going to cut down and cut that loop open so that it makes these tassels. And then you can square it up so if you have like weird little fringes on the end, you can take your scissors and just trim them, make it square. And then you're going to put the, um, the string at the top. So this is easiest if you just lay your tassel down. You can slide the string in underneath and about an inch or an inch, a half an inch to an inch from the top. You're just going to loop it over like this and go around a couple of times. Like that and then tie it into a knot. Like this. Oh, I got some sitting in there funny. like that and then trim off the extras here all right like that so then you have so now mine has two tassels check that out you are the tassel queen <laughs> i'm still decorating a little bit making some uh, colorful lines. I was inspired by some tie-dye, rainbow tie-dye stickers that I picked up. And I kind of want everything to be rainbow tie-dye now. <laughs> well, mine's all Julie sticker. Flavor of the summer, so there we go. It kind of feels wow. the trend of the rainbow tie-dye. That is awesome. I'm just, I'm just now adding a foamy rainbow to mine. I love that. So, um, Bellamy, what are you going to write about in your journal this summer? I'm going to put pictures in there about our family. Yeah. And then whichever, wherever we took it at, I'm going to say, I t had this picture from wherever it got, wherever we were at. That's some good uh, writing practice for you over the summer. Okay, so, on school. so some people might want to make theirs about a trip um, or about just your day-to-day -day summer activities. We love um, some different writing props. So if anyone wants to tell us what they have um, or what they're writing about, that would be great. Jen, are y'all going to be drawing pictures or writing stories? So um, I will probably be making a little poem with mine. I love that. Drawing some pictures to go along with it because that's how my silly mind works. That's great. Awesome. Well, we'll call one more time for everyone. If you are still with us and you want to show us your project, um, we're going to take a look at the gallery view. So feel free to hold up your journal. I see lots of smelly faces. First thing I saw was a palm tree. I love it. Lots of color out there. It looks like everyone had fun making their journals today. I see um, some pom poms on a palm tree, lots of jewels, lots of stickers. See some patterned paper that looks awesome. Thanks so much you guys for showing us your creations. That is definitely half the fun where we get to um, look and learn about crafts with all of you guys and see your creations. 
see what fun you're having out there making and creating over summer. So thank you so much for joining us and doing this. Hey. So where can I show everyone my awesome craft today? Hmm. Well, Jen, I would love for you to tag us. Make it with nice. my. I will do that. Awesome. Social media, we're here for you. We want to see your crafts. Hashtag make it with Michaels. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. Post and show. Post and share. I like it. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We're super excited. We've got another kids club coming up on Thursday. So if you haven't signed up, make sure you sign up. Um, we're going to be building a craft stick. I think it's a birdhouse or some sort of house with craft sticks. So get your craft sticks, get your glue, and join us on Thursday. Yes. Awesome. See you, Bellamy. Okay, Let's get to see you. Bye, Zoe. I'll see you on Thursday, okay? See you with your craft sticks. Bye, Karina. Bye. You're helping us see out. You guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.